Hello everyone, today we are going to implement a draw application where you can paint with different colors like it is shown here and also a different stroke sizes so it will be different here if you have 4 or 8 and yeah, so it's a simple drawing program so what we want to start with is to make this space here to a painting widget so we would place the body property here where the container is currently empty we will replace it with a painting widget and we create this painting widget in widget and here we will import it and we also have to set these parameters here so let's make it so we set the parameters here and the constructor and we also want to have this here as a stateful widget because we have some kind of state which we use in this object and let's convert it the state itself is a list of custom stroke which we will create in our model here so we will go ahead and create custom stroke and here we set the different kind of variables we want to have for our lines which are drawn here on the pad so first of all our line has a color it has a width so how big it is shown on the screen and also an offset which means the position on the screen and we will also import it here in the build method itself we will create a custom paint so it's an object and inside we set a background color so a container and here we set the background color to kind of black and another thing we want to have is a foreground painter which is here used we will just write hit painter and we'll create this object here above this widget itself will then be responsible for sharing all the lines and we wrap it in our custom painter which is here as a property foreground painter so it means we want to have it before our child displayed here in our case before the background color and not after it so we don't see it we also have another property which is called if i go here maybe which is called simply painter and it's more in the background if we go over this property here we see we need a custom painter so our widget which we pass here inside has to extend from the custom painter and we will just pass all the variables inside so we will pass here inside strokes which will be rendered here and also the current color we have selected over this menu and also the stroke width which is here selected over this menu and here we have an arrow so we just go here with alt enter and create all missing methods so the first thing we want to change is the should repaint method so we say our widget when it should repaint in our case every time the strokes which are painted here differ we want to repaint it so let's make it here strokes every time the strokes of this state and the strokes of the last state are different we want to repaint it here and it doesn't work right now because we have here a custom painter instance but we have to use the painter widget because we want to apply to this strokes variable and therefore we have to provide it with the painter widget so we have to provide it with the painter widget so the old delegate object knows that here we have our strokes because the custom painter itself has not this field inside here okay. the next thing we want to do is to go to our painting widget here and wrap our custom painter with a gesture detector because the gesture detector itself is responsible for getting all the gestures we make on the screen like painting and stuff and 
here we have different kind of methods. The first one we want to use is the on pen start. Another method we use is on pen update. And we just say here on pen start, on pen update, and on pen end. What are these three properties for? The first thing is on pen start, which means if we start to press here, this method, which we have here, will be called. The second property is responsible for all the updates we make. So if we press on the screen and then go around and drag around and paint all our stuff, then the on paint update method is every time called here below. And the on pen end property is every time called if we end our drawer. So we release it and don't do anything anymore. Then it is called here. On pen start and on pen update do quite the same. Every time we draw here something, we get some updates over this details property and we add another stroke, which is here another method. In the add stroke method, first of all, we get our local position. So it means we get the position where we pressed here on different points and drag around and all the stuff. Another thing we do is to create a custom stroke object, which we supply with the color. The color is the color which we selected here. So in this case, for example, red. Then we supply it with the stroke width, which is selected here, like 16. And also the offset, which means the position we are tapping here around currently or dragging around. So for example, this position. So the last thing we do is to make a copy of our stroke list, which is here. So there's everything stored inside all our strokes, or all of our drawings, all of our lines. And therefore we add our new stroke, which we have made at this position where we are currently, and replace this list, which we have created here on the right side with our current list, and set the state new so everything is rebuilt. It means only that a new stroke, a new line is added. And the last thing we want to do is to add to our stroke list a null value so we can differentiate later uh, when a line ended or not. So the last thing we do is to go to our painter widget and implement here the paint method. The first thing we do is to go over all of our strokes. In the paint method here, we say how the line should be drawn on the screen. So we set it with the color which comes from our custom stroke. Um, then we set the stroke width which also comes from our custom stroke which we set it before with the gesture detector. And we also set the stroke cave which means our points which we here make are round. The last thing we do is to say that we want to draw our lines on the canvas and apply it here with our paint method which only says how this line should be drawn. And now we are finished. We can simply draw a line, change the stroke width so it's a little bigger and also change the color. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter and see you soon. Bye!